In this presentation, you will learn how you can develop your leadership skills. Some people are naturally predisposed to be leaders, although it doesn't mean that it can't be developed. Leadership is the influence of an individual on a group through a relationship of mutual trust. It is manifested by the ability to unite a group and mobilize members towards a common goal. You don't have to be in a leadership role to be a leader. Here are five ways you develop your leadership skills. Know yourself. The cornerstone of leadership is self-awareness. A true leader must be aware of his strengths and limitations. He must be able to question himself and, above all, show authenticity. It is essential to be genuine, to be authentic, to be sincere, and to have the courage to be yourself, to make yourself somehow vulnerable to gain the trust of others. Others need to know that their leader is not a superhero, but human just like them. That way, they can trust you and help you achieve goals. Understanding Others The second essential element of leadership is the knowledge of others. It is imperative to understand others to relate to them. The classic mistake is to assume that what works with oneself will necessarily work with others. Understand what motivates them, what their skills are, how can you help them grow. The only way you can answer these questions is by taking the time to get to know others. Demonstrate Emotional Intelligence At the leadership level, intelligence is essential. But it is emotional intelligence that will make you a great leader. Emotional intelligence is a set of skills, verbal and nonverbal, allowing an individual to generate, recognize, express, understand, and evaluate his own emotions and those of others. To develop emotional intelligence, a leader must first know himself well. He must also learn to tame his emotions and adapt them to different situations without being reactive. Finally, he must recognize and understand the feelings of others. If you are tuned out of your own emotions, you will be poor at reading them in other people. The basis of emotional intelligence is knowing oneself and understanding others better. In addition to this understanding, you also need the following aptitudes. Empathy, active listening, emotional management, pressure management, communication skills, authenticity, and humility. Developing your power of influence. The power of influence in leadership lies in the art of negotiating and finding mutual benefit. Influencing is, therefore, not about showing authority or manipulating people. The distinction is important and often leads to an unhealthy power of influence. Negotiation requires listening, finding a win-win agreement, building trust, compromise, and body language that promotes openness. Then, to persuade and convince, you must have a good argument, be prepared, rely on sound logic, emphasize the positive points, and know how to assert yourself properly. Having a goal and a strategic vision. It is necessary to have a goal if you want to know where you are going, but not just any goal. Some goals are meaningless. Others are not positive or constructive. Ideally, the goal will be productive, positive, and win-win. If your only goal is to make more money or to crush others, it is unlikely that people will follow you in an upbeat, positive, and win-win way. Find a humble goal that allows you to have a clear vision of where you want to go and have confidence that with your skills and help from others, you can reach that goal. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.